What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Today is benchmark time between the iPhone 7 Plus, right? iPhone 7 Plus. We got the Galaxy Note 7. Galaxy Note 7 on deck. And we got the one that's always beating all the phones, which is the OnePlus 3. All right, guys, so today I'm going to run through four benchmark tests, and also I'm going to open up apps and see which device is King Supreme. If you watched my previous video with the regular iPhone 7, we had a terrible time with app closing and app crashes and stuff like that. So let's see if the update that we just got, which is iOS 10.0.1, uh, uh, fixed some of the issues that we have with these devices. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so uh, we got the, the iPhone 7 Plus, which is a 1080p screen. We got Quad HD here on the Note 7, and we have a 1080p here on the OnePlus 3. So we're going to make this fair. We're going to go into settings, and I actually did this already, but I want y'all guys to see uh, that I have changed the resolution down uh, to 1080p. Uh, on this device right here, which is the Note 7. So we got a uh, fair uh, balance here on all devices. So we won't have no issues here. So let's make sure we got all apps closed before we get into the benchmark test. All right, guys, so the first benchmark test here, we're gonna run is uh, Antutu Benchmark, all right? So we're gonna load up Antutu Benchmark on all devices, and uh, I've already ran it on these devices, but that's okay, we're gonna start it again. So let's run Antutu Benchmark. All right, guys, so the scores are in, and man, do we have a difference here. So we got the iPhone 7 Plus, guys. Look at that score, 190089. What's record going on right here, all right, for the iPhone 7 Plus? God, look at that score. All right, and look at this. I've been saying this about the Note 7, guys. It is a killer. It's, uh, we have a score of 14,827, and the OnePlus 3 got dominated by all, uh, by both phones, guys, which is 139588. All right, so at that first benchmark test, the iPhone 7 Plus wins. All right, so the next test we're gonna run is Geekbench 4 on both devices. And uh, so let's run Geekbench 4. Booyah, so we're gonna run the benchmark test. And again, uh, we do have the iPhone 7 Plus right here. iOS 10.0.1, that's the new update. Uh, A10 processor. Uh, 2.34 gigahertz, uh, three gigs of RAM, and we all know what these devices have. So, let's get to the benchmark test right quick, and let's see which device is King Supreme. All right, guys, so the iPhone 7 Plus uh, uh, finished first, and uh, let's go to look at the scores here. Uh, iPhone 7 Plus have a, a single core score of 34.53, and a multi-core score of 55.74. All right, and the OnePlus 3 uh, just finished, and uh, we have a single core score of 1723 and a multi core score of 4143. And uh, the Galaxy Note 7 has a single core score of 1558 uh, and a multi core score of 3868. So, in this benchmark test, uh, the iPhone 7 dominates. Uh, in this benchmark test. So the two uh, out of two right fast guys uh, that the iPhone 7 is winning right now. So let's go on and get out of there. So let's go to run 3D Mark Slingshot on all devices. All right, so we have uh, 3D Mark on all devices. So let's go on and run the test. All right, here we go. So we go run, run, and run. Uh-oh. Okay, so we had the same problem. We had the same problem before with the iPhone, guys. As you saw my last video, uh, we had a couple of uh, apps that did not want to run here. So, uh, yes, we still had that problem with 3D Mark. Yeah, so no, you can't run 3D Mark, guys. So I'm going to stop this test because we had that problem with the iPhone 7. Un uh, unfortunately, uh, they did not update the app. Uh, for 3D Mark, but that's okay. We're going to move on 
And uh, let's go to GFX. All right, let's go to our fourth and final one. All right, so we're gonna run T-Rex tests on all devices and go from there and see which device is King Supreme. All right, guys, so the test is done here. So let's go and take a peep at this. All right, so right now on the T-Rex test, the iPhone 7 Plus has uh, 57 frames per second. All right, and the Galaxy Note 7 has 59 frames per second. And the OnePlus 3 has 60 frames per second. So uh, out of all four of the tests, one crashed. So we got three tests. The iPhone 7 Plus dominated two tests. And the OnePlus 3 made it come back right last with 60 frames per second on the very last test. All right, so that it concludes the benchmark test, guys. So we're going to close all apps here. And we're going to try to open up some apps here. We're going to try to do it one phone at a time and uh, see which device opens the fastest, right? So we're going to do this. And uh, let's go and pull this out the way, the OnePlus 3. Let's go ahead and get the iPhone and the Note 7 in. And so we're going to open up some apps. Let's go to our social media apps, and we're going to open up Instagram. Boom. All right, so Instagram will open up fastest on the Note 7. All right, so we're going to open up Twitter. Boom. All right, Twitter open up faster on the iPhone 7. So we're going to open up Facebook. All right. Facebook open up faster on the uh, Note 7. And uh, last test here, we're going to open up uh, YouTube. All right. So YouTube open up fastest on the iPhone 7. All right. So. Uh, right now we have two for two, two apps open up faster here, two apps open up faster here. So you, we have the same here. All right, so let's go on and get the one plus three in and let's do the same test, but let's go on and clear all apps. And again, we know that the one plus three is, is stock Android. So, uh, this should be a pretty even test here. So again, let's go ahead and open up our social media and, uh, let's go ahead and open up. Let's see Twitter. All right, Twitter open up faster on the OnePlus 3. Let's open up Facebook. Facebook open up faster on the OnePlus 3. And uh, for our last test, let's go down and open up YouTube. All right, so YouTube open up faster on the OnePlus 3. All right, guys, so overall, I just want to kind of give you guys a performance test uh, and a benchmark test on all devices, guys. And right now, iPhone 7 Plus is not hot. Uh, and the Note 7 is a little warm. Note 7 is a little warm here. And the OnePlus 3, nah, not even not even close. It's, it's cool to the touch. All right, so uh, overall, guys, you be the judge for yourself when you're looking at benchmark tests on all devices, guys. I can tell you that uh, all devices are smooth as butter. You can't go wrong with either device. If you're an iOS fan, you, you're happy today that the iPhone kills Android when it comes down to benchmark tests. Uh, but when it comes down to apps opening and stuff like that, all the devices about what what. But the OnePlus 3 still king supreme when it comes down to app opening. This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. See you guys on the next video. Peace.